and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Teamer Walkers. That's right, we got a Super Friends deck here uh, that we put together, tons and tons of Planeswalkers. Um, the reason why we're going with a, a deck filled with Planeswalkers is because right now there's a lot of sweepers in the format, um, especially you know if we think about Golos, right, Go, you know, it's the, the biggest deck um, in the format. They're playing a lot of uh, the Giant Sweeper and Time Wipes and things like that. And plus, they can just make a bunch of tutus on the ground. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to have our creatures not die to removal, not get bounced by Teferi. Here, um, the, yeah, whatever, the three-man Teferi. Um, I want to say Hero of Dominaria, but that's the wrong one. But anyway, and, you know, we'll just get our, our other permanent type, our Planeswalkers, in play. And then play Sarkin. You know, we got four Sarkins in here and fly over the top of all the zombies and try to kill our opponent with Sarkin's plus one ability. So yeah, we got a lot of three mana Planeswalkers. Uh, Mu Yanling and Sahili are in here for some defense. Narset and the Royal Scions are in here for some card draw. And uh, you know, Scions is just just act, you know just just card selection, I guess, because you draw and then discard. But Sah Narset is more card draw. And then of course we're playing four Okos because Oko is just one of the best planeswalkers in standard it's you know incredible it plays very good defense and offense uh this is the card that we're going to want to be playing on turn two most of the time because since we have all these three mana planeswalkers hopefully we get to play them on turn two a good amount with having four grazers and four gilded goose uh for our first turns um <clears throat> we are of course going with the four inch planer beacon to help us out with as far as like the different mana costs so you know going going grazer into you know like narset is not easy um, but hopefully Interplanar Beacon can, can help that out a little bit and also gain some life for us to keep us alive. Um, uh, but then, yeah, our four mana slot, we got some Kasminas to make some creatures help loot, um, you know, make some blockers. The cool thing with Kasmina and with Sahili, and, you know, maybe I should have more Sahili because of this, but like whenever you make one ones with Sahili, you know, one ones are very valuable. They're probably just going to be chump blocking, even like a two, two. You know, maybe you know, maybe the two two trades with stuff, but Oko can turn those one ones and two twos immediately into three threes, and you know three threes are a lot better at trading with cards, and so you know Sahili with Oko, we just play another spell, make a one one, turn that one one into a three three, and so on. So we can do those. We got a spark double in here, so we can make so we can have double Oko in play. You know, if we have Oko on turn two and then spark double it, uh, if you have two Okos. That can get pretty crazy there. Um, I I could see playing two uh, two spark doubles instead of the Tamiyo, Honestly, I'm not not sure about the Tamiyo. The Tamiyo is basically going to be like look for Sarkin. Um, that's that's like what our Tamiyo is going to be is like take up look you know dig for Sarkin kind of card. Um, so it, it's going to dig very fast for Sarkin. That that's its job, and also just have a lot of loyalty. That's the thing about like Tamiyo, Royal Scions, Oko. These planeswalkers have a lot of loyalty. Even Mu Yanling ticks up to four but then you know that plus two still gets a lot of loyalty pretty quickly so these things will hopefully stay out on the battlefield for sarkin um yeah i decided not to go nissa in the deck um i i originally started with nissas but ended up cutting them um just you know like we're not we don't really want our lands getting swept up by sweepers and everything and it's you know another five mana planeswalker i wanted to lower it a little bit but this is maybe not so bad. Um, so what protects us from removal and board wipe? Like, well, we're not really playing creatures too much for board wipes. Like, yeah, they can kill these things, but, you know, like, Elder Spell is, like, the only Planeswalker board wipe, and not many people are playing that these days. And then, of course, you have Chandra at the top end. So, yeah, Fires of Invention. Fires of Invention rewards you for playing a lot of four and five mana cards. We have a, just a ton of three mana cards. Like, the, the Planeswalker is here that are really good in these team or colors are three mana and fires letting you cast two three drops a turn isn't nearly as valuable because by the time you have fires you're almost at that at six mana anyway where you can cast two three mana cards so you really want lots of fours and fives because you whenever you play fires of invention you want to play another four immediately and the next turn you want to play two five mana cards and that's not really where what we're going with this um so yeah we we got four interplanar beacons of course they're just down there. Um, so yeah, let's let's give this a try. Let's see how our Teamer Walkers deck does. 
No, the the dredge deck was fun. It was good. We got we got pretty unlucky in our losses, to be honest. We we dominated the two wins, and we you know like the deck the deck has a lot of variants built into it with the self milling. But you know like we either like one of our losses we couldn't hit land drops at all, and then our other losses like our arc light phoenix like two of our losses like all of our arc light phoenixes were down at the bottom of the library. Um, and then our other, like, we only lost four games. Like, our, our two wins were two O's pretty easily, but then our four losses, one was not drawing lands. And then two of them were Phoenixes, all the Phoenixes being down at the bottom. And then the third one was just all of the Phoenixes being at the top, <laughs> and we couldn't get our engine going at all. We would only draw Phoenixes and Creeping Chills. They were all at the top. Hey, Elder Two. Uh, we have not played against Field of the Dead yet today. So, you know, we're only four matches in, but we have not played against Field of the Dead yet. Looks like a worse Jeskai Fires. Well, it's yeah, definitely a different deck. I mean, Oko is very, very strong. This hand is, is pretty bad. I honestly probably should be mulliganing this. But I like having two temples. I like the beacon for life. Mu Yanling plays good defense. You know, like I like those cards, but it's a, it's a slow hand. You know, we don't have any of our one drops. Our opponent decided to that my hand was so bad, though, that they only needed four cards to beat this hand. So that's a bold, bold claim. Um, sure. <laughs> oh, that wasn't my opponent choosing that? That was, that was the shuffler deciding that? So my plan was to play Sahili this turn, but if I play Sahili, if they just play land, they could activate Knight and kill Sahili. So I guess we have to play Mu Yanling as some defense first. But I wanted to play Sahili first and then Mu. Be able to trigger Sahili. Well, Vampire of the Dire Moon does have Death Touch. Wow, Mu Yanling can survive Death Touch. All right, what's the deal with all these lands? No more lands. Uh-oh. That's kind of a problem. No, Field of the Dead and Golos do not need to be banned right now. There's no reason to, to have any kind of ban talk for the next month and a half at least like a, like six weeks if it gets a whole lot worse I mean if it stays the same it's probably just fine but if it gets a whole lot worse in six weeks then we can start talking um There's, just don't need to overreact to like week one results. You know, let people have some time to adapt.
if they if they just attacked with Knight of the Ebon Legion, my plan would have been to um, double block the Knight. Well, that's a good card. Prove your skill, and I can teach you. Quell your temper. Bow to the howling wind. Unfortunately, I don't actually have it. Oh, no, I do have one. Never mind. The breeding pool. I missed that one. So I, I have one island if we ultimate Mu Yanling. <sighs> Tomb Whisper. Uh-oh. That's a good card. Hmm. Right. I should have kept a land in hand. I kind of forgot about the Royal Scions. Should have kept a land in hand. With my sister by my we'll just mill one over. I, not fear the unknown. I know I could I could choose, you know, the other one, the plus two. I don't actually have to mill I one over. Hey, look at that. Good mill. Do not challenge your raging river. Learn some respect. They did not use Doom Whisper at all. No surveilling there. Hmm. What is my strategy here? So do we want to ultimate this Mu Yanling here? Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, that's that's my plan with Chandra is to kill the one two. Bye bye. This Mu Yanling is certainly ticking up. Quell your temper. <clears throat> it's just the other one. Do we ultimate? I think so. Which I guess I could have done that before doing the the Royal Scions loot earlier. Uh, I guess we keep it. I kind of want to have eight lands in play. In general. Because eight, we can cast Sarkin and a three drop. But I'll keep this in hand. We could, you know, find like another interplanar beacon as a, a better land to have. Yeah. So my move ultimate is my islands control. I control have tap draw a card. Well, right now I only have one island, <laughs> so this one land can draw a card. So I have one land that can draw a card. What's the interaction with Sahili targeting a spark double walker? Well, Sahili can only uh, target artifacts. 
So the the spark double walker probably is not an artifact. That wasn't very inventive. Well, no, it its target artifact you control then becomes a copy of another artifact or creature. So I guess oh, I guess if you mean it targets like the other part, it's a it's a spark doubled creature. I mean, it just becomes a copy of like whatever I other creature. What nobody yet knows. I'm gonna kill this. Doom Whisper with Lava Coil and Chandra. There's not really a reason to. There's not really a reason to ultimate Mu Yanling again. The islands would still just draw a single card. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I guess I don't really understand the question. Exactly. So um if you if you see Healy, like just whatever Spark Double is copied, if if Spark Double is a creature, you don't you can't turn something into a Spark Double because there's no such thing as Spark Double on the battlefield. Like see like this is a Mu Yanling on the battlefield. Like there is no Spark Double on the battlefield. to finish each other's Attack okay cool ready. all right so that makes sense okay cool all right i will steady your mind growing and i will inspire your heart more planeswalkers with a dragon's rage. Come to me. Mu Yanling can make this thing lose flying. Bow to the howling winds. So we can play Veil of Summer to stop removal spells. If we want to, yeah, might as well. We're gonna. I'm gonna cut these paradise druids. I'm gonna play the extra lava coil and two veil of summers. That spark double is pretty neat. Maybe we should have a, a second spark double in here. Yeah, Planeswalker Party. So I have turn one Goose, turn two Narset. The problem with Narset, it doesn't hit land drops for me. I could go just turn one Goose, turn two Goose. That's probably the better play. <laughs> yeah, this deck is super friends, and so you're... Your Esper Walker deck is super villains. Nice. <clears throat> so yeah, I think I'm just going to be playing another Guild of Goose and a Breeding Pool untapped this next turn. I think that's the plan. 
We'll kind of see what happens here, though. We do draw a three mana walker I want to play. I can just play the interplanar beacon and play it. Doesn't really matter what it is. With Goose adding any mana, Beacon adds any mana as well. So of course, like like always, Oko would be probably our best draw step. Season of Growth. Get that scry on. It's probably good to play Royal Scions. Uh, so yeah, you got you got Jess guy, or like, or is it is your deck teamer with white also? Because you said you have white for Clarions and Time Wipe. So are you going? Are you a Jess guy deck? Or are you teamer with white? Ah, uh, four color. Awesome. My answers lie in the cold truth. Not attacking Royal Scions. Too much loyalty over there. Hmm. What is my strategy here? Knowledge is the greatest. A quest of mystery. So of course Spark Double starts with an extra counter. So like this so this Royal Scions is already up to seven. It started with six. So if you think if you think Royal Scions is um kind of busted because it has five loyalty and ticks up to six, well what if it starts with six and ticks up to seven <laughs> immediately? Yeah, I'm playing the the events like where you pay a thousand gold and you just play until you win five or lose two. And yeah, it looks like our yeah, this looks like this could be a starter deck that our opponent's on. I'm not sure. Let me synthesize the facts. Let the lost go. My answers lie in the cold truth. I think I'm going to... Well, no, I should probably just play Sarkin. I'm, as you can tell, I, I want to wait a turn with the Royal Scions ultimate.
Yeah, you get XP like normal with this event. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure, Samuel, um, the interplanar beacon for that. That I'm not, I'm not sure if it works with that mana base. I'd have to kind of take a look, a better look at the deck and everything. I I know I I don't think I had interplanar beacon in there. So, I'm not sure. I will consume you. That's a good card. Oh, I should have played this first. I should have done this first. I would have dealt one extra damage. What? Attack already. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I could just kill this Rotting Regisaur. And I don't have to deal with it. Well, I was planning on turning the Rotting Register into a 3-3. Might as well just kill it. Yeah, and then I would have drawn a, a beacon. Would have gained extra life. You don't like the Royal Scions voice lines? Hmm. What is my strategy here? All right, we got multiple Royal Scions in play. A Sarkin, Sahili, Oko. Our opponent hasn't done too much against us, but... Um, but still, we get to show off what, what our deck can do. Block with the goose. More planeswalkers. Stay back. I'm an all right, so this is gonna be cool. So we're gonna turn all these into to creatures, and then the Sahili is gonna turn this food into this royal scions. What? Why didn't that work? That one's not legendary. This one's legendary. Why didn't that work? Because the Spark Double one's not legendary. I guess I guess because it's a plane planeswalkers are just always legendary, I guess. No, that yeah, that one shouldn't be. Yeah, maybe that was just a bug. I don't know. It's not a oh, because it has zero loyalty counters? Oh, uh, so it dies because it has zero loyalty counters, but I mean those you could get rid of your loyalty counters once it's a creature, but I guess it turns it okay, so it turns into the the zero zero planeswalker or like a planeswalker with zero loyalty counters. I think that's why. I don't think it's I don't think it's the legend thing. I think it's that it had zero loyalty counters. So yeah, this that was a weird weird scenario. Uh, 
kind of want to just coil the bird. But getting Oko in play is nice also. Hmm. That's a tough call. Revel with your king, wild and soft one bite, and all your cares are gone. Yeah, that, that's what I was. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It becomes yeah, it's, it becomes the planeswalker without loyalty. So that's that's the problem there. Yep. So it looks like my opponent doesn't have blue mana yet, so like getting rid of the Gilded Goose maybe shuts them off of blue mana. Who's more foolish? The fool. Let's broaden your existence. Vartyob! Eight months. Yeah, eight months later, we're trying to turn food into planeswalkers now. <laughs> that's that's what we're doing these days in standard. We're taking food and trying to make it planeswalkers. Nice, Rex. Good job. Nice. Nice pack trophies. opening there. All right, Vraska. So these things kill stuff. That's not cool. Um, that's not cool. I mean, I can play Sarkin and, and tick up, but they, they can, like, double block with these. But even if they don't block, they could just not block and then have this thing kill. Five. Yes, let's, let's do that. Okay, actually, let's do this. And I, I could have Oko'd the goose and then make sure that Vraska's dead. You know, like, you know, uh, have Oko turn the, th the goose into a 3-3. Three, three. But my the worst case scenario is they kill my 3-3 three, three, and then this oh, creature dear. does damage to my planeswalker and kills my planeswalker. So I'm turning that thing. In, so I'm, basically I was going to be turning that thing into a 3-3. Three, three. People call me a death. Again, I yeah, I could I could minus make a dragon, um, but again, if they if they have like just you know a couple of removal spells, kill my dragon, kill my three three, and then this thing hurt, hits my planeswalker, I I just I basically just don't want that to happen. I'm not taking any risks. Well, after seeing that turn, I'm more confident Welcome in them not being able to kill a dragon and a 3-3. Yeah, I don't know the exact number of ties I have. I would guess like 60 or 70. That would be my guess. I 
I, should, I guess I should count them up. I feel like I don't. I feel like I used to have that many, and I don't have that many anymore. So I don't have as many ties as I have had at points in my life before. Maybe I don't actually have that many before. I remember counting before and it being in that range. But I don't think I have that many anymore. Maybe it's more in like the 50-something range. Yeah, my favorite tie is a um, a royal purple uh, argyle pattern tie. I don't have any, like, real expensive tie. I, and I think probably, if I had to guess, maybe $20 is my most expensive tie. I can't really remember a time spending more than $20 on a tie. I don't think I ever bought one for more than that. And I, m most of my tie, I can't, I feel like I ha probably have spent that much on a tie, but I'm not saying that all of my ties cost that much. That's, that's definitely not. I invite you most of my ties, your ways. I was a member of, of, uh, I, I'm not anymore, but I had Spreza box delivered to my house every month, which was, um, like a, you know, a monthly box service kind of thing with, with ex ex accessories and stuff. And that was $25 a month. And that had a tie and a nice pair of socks, and then also other random other accessories. And I did that for a few years, and that's where most of my ties came from. I'd get a, you know, a new tie every month kind of thing. That's not a very good attack. with Sarkin's passive ability. So do we want Flame Sweep? Against our, I think so. Against our opponent. Extra Coil and Flame Sweeps, which means I'm taking out Paradise Druid again. I mean, they're probably taking out um, Priest of Forgotten Gods. They're probably taking that card out. Kara CM. Hmm. We're going with uh, Karekum? I'm not sure. Um, but we're going with, with uh, Car. Car, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Um, hope that. Uh, pronunciation is good enough <laughs> but welcome to the channel and i really appreciate that support there and thanks everybody for getting the hype boats in to show some love for our new sub there um i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of let's see this is 61 let's get rid of a narset yeah it is pretty hard to, to know what to expect from our opponent's deck i don't know i guess i could i guess maybe Honestly, I should probably be bringing in the Veil of Summers. You know, they have Murderous Rider. They probably got uh, other removal for Planeswalkers in there. All right, we're going to look for some lands here with these temples. Ah. Thanks, Bear. Stomping Grounds. That's a good game shop right there. Thanks, Stomping Grounds. Oh, Oko. Oko is like our best planeswalker, but we also don't have lands. Stomping Grounds Game Shop. Pretty sure isn't that isn't that the one in, in Dallas that I used to go to all the time? 
I feel like that's. Oh, okay. No, it's it's Chester Chesterfield, Missouri. Okay. Must have been a different one that was close to that. But cool. Welcome everybody here in Missouri. Chesterfield, Missouri. I took a vacation to Missouri whenever I was a kid. I don't remember exactly where in Missouri. Um, oh, Michigan? Oh, MI is Michigan. Oh, MO is Missouri. No. MI is Michigan. Okay. Well, I don't have as good of stories about Michigan. I was basically going to say that it was just I went to like a little resort thing whenever I was like, a, you know, like five or six years old that just had all sorts of stuff like, you know, that a, a five or six year old like, you know, like basketball and volleyball and, you know, all the kind of sports stuff. And I just had a, a ton of fun there. And I always wanted to go back and I never did. And spin new clarity. Oh, dear. Michigan, a little colder up there. How'd you like Express Box? I've I've uh, bought clothes from Express before, but I don't I don't know if I've ever gotten a, any kind of box from Express before. You're blind to your folly. Hmm. Our hands looking a little red over here. Your new look is enchanting. Looking a little red over here. <laughs> now I imagine a little six-year-old Todd with glasses, ties, and boot People shoes getting all hyped. <laughs> so I, I want to block the questing beast because the you know if we draw a red source, flame sweep can kill these things. Wow, they just attacked with that. Huh. I mean, might as well block. Boat shoes. Okay. That makes a little, little more sense. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Ambitious. All right. Let's see. I don't think there's any reason to wait, right? It's not poison. Maybe Stop. there's some reason to wait. I mean, if I wait, I just let them make another food token with the goose. What's up, 619? Yeah, the the bot the the other accessories and stuff that I got that was from something called Spreza Box. It wasn't Express. Sorry, I think I bet that's where you just misheard. So yeah, it was there's a company called Spreza Box, and it was it's a you know good company and everything, and that was it's a good product. Get this cat out of here for good. Let's broaden your existence. Yeah, the cat had had to leave.
Um, you know, it's doing it's doing something else better now. It looked at its phone and got a little cat call to go somewhere else and do something else. But we definitely did not kill a cat, that's for sure. It just went went to this portal. <laughs> We'd better hope you delay our quest no further. All right, draw then discard. We're starting to get set up here. Get some more foods. Surely you must be This is a su supermarket. It looks like we're playing magic in the supermarket with all this food everywhere. Rankle doesn't have death touch, does it? No, good. I'm guessing my opponent's going to do the sacrifice a creature bit. No, just lose a life draw card. And so to that, I was going to flame sweep if, if they did that. I got a lot of food tokens over there. Ah, uh, thanks, Janini. I do want to play that before um, making tutus with Kasmina. Under my instruction. You will hone your control. I will learn what nobody yet knows. The world yields to art, not oppression. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. It's so hard playing creatures these days with Oko. That's another reason why I like this deck. It's because we're not really playing creatures. But we have to worry about Oko turning our creatures into 3-3s, three like how we turn these other mythics over there into 3-3s. Three threes. Hmm. What is my strategy here? My students are loyal geniuses. Chandra works really well with Oko. Once you turn things into three threes, you can minus three and wipe the board. Let's make this quick. I've got we don't really need to do that right now, though. Is it just me? But I'm just saying that's something we can't do. Warm in here? If we want to. It's not poison. Uh, 
Oh no. <laughs> Alright. All the tokens. They're all gone. All that's left is the Masker Girl. My plan is crystallizing. All that's left is the Masker Girl. AKA a generic 3 3. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Hmm. Everyone knows the bigger explosions are more fun. I guess I could have minus eight Royal Scions with having a backup Royal Scions. But I like, I don't know. I don't want to, I like my Planeswalkers. I don't want to get rid of them. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the problem with Bioessence Hydra in this deck is, is Oko. You know, it does give the opponent something to Oko. It's not exactly Oko proof because you don't get to get more... Um, you don't get more counters on it. We practiced a new combination. You will not like it. All right, so I learned that I shouldn't minus Sahili on on the food and turn it into a Planeswalker. Faves Belcher, Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, there, Faves. Our ninth sub of the day. All right, two and zero. Oh. Good start to the league. Five win dream still alive. Five win dream still alive. That's true. Both our opponents have not had the best decks. We haven't had too difficult of a test yet. All right, we got turn two, Oko. We're in keep. <laughs> Thanks, Samuel. What's the game plan of the deck? To play a lot of Planeswalkers and then have Sarkin kill our opponents. That's our game plan. I guess we need another land for turn two, Oko, though. Yeah. Um, I mean, I kind of want to play Sahili first so we can start making a 1-1. One -one. But then they have Thought Erasure and they take my Oko and I'm sad. Sing with me. I will enlighten you. I invite you to change your ways. No, we'll just sweet token it up. I think a little merriment is in order. So my plan was to turn this other grazer into a three three also, but then I guess against Legion's End and other things like that, that's not spectacular. <laughs> My prowess, hone your prowess. Cool. Guess I should have to had two creatures that could attack through. Deputy, though. Yeah, 
Yeah, Guard Mage isn't really doing very much here. Keep an open mind. I think you will find my notes helpful. Hmm. <laughs> There's all my lands. I know, I, I wish I could choose a land. So we're going to be able to minus and grab a land back now. Yeah, opponent's on Esper Hero. We're going to be playing Esper Hero up next. So we're going to play Sarkin. I think I just make the 4-4. Four, four. Don't really know exactly what my opponents got over here, that they're just waiting a bunch. like <clears throat> Potentially like Tyrant Scorn. No tail should be discarded. Yeah, they could have, you know, just a lot of things to spark. Yeah, Murderous Rider. Um, I feel like they, if they had those things, they would have killed the Tamiyo, though. We begin. So I don't think I'd just tick up and attack for 11, even though that's an option. Because of my opponent certainly having some kind of instant here. Arclight Dredge, uh, you can find the list there. Oh, speaking of that, I need to finish getting that up on YouTube. Okay, what do we got going on over here? Hmm. I know I noticed this somewhere. There's only one Chandra. There's two Okos. I 
like to think fast. I have not tried any food tokens with Rampage of the Clans yet. No, I haven't tried that. I haven't tried that. I <laughs> just got here with this deck. Seems like serious gas. Yeah, we're doing it. Like, people aren't exactly prepared for a lot of Planeswalkers right now. And so that's what we got going on. There's a lot of planeswalkers. All right, opponent is deciding whether or not to die. Okay, they did. So Esper Hero, what do we want to do for game two? Call me Deacon Blues. I don't know if we really need to do too much. I mean, obviously I could have Negates or Veil of Summers and they'd be just fine. I want to keep the, the Lava Coils. I you know, really want to be able to kill Hero of Precinct 1, for example, and Deputy Detention. Those are definitely good things to kill. I could cut, like, Saheeli. I could see Saheeli not being super valuable. Like, we don't really need the Chump Blockers. I've kind of just been cutting Paradise Druid a bunch. Maybe I just do that some more. Play like a flame sweep. The problem is, is like the Veil vale Summers aren't very good against Teferi if they have Teferi. So like that can be problematic where we just get stuck with Veil vale of Summer in hand. But we have a, a good amount of ways to cycle though and everything, so. Should try Just Guy Fires one day. All right. I can do that. Yep, we can also just do that. Cast Veil with Teferi on the stack. It's another option there. I do like a Boreal Grazer against potential Thief of Sanity from their side. Because that could be a troublesome card. Six mana. We were, I was planning on playing Esper Hero next, next as you can see. You know, you don't see very much Esper Hero around right now. Okay. Arclight Dredge. 
ready to go. Join my order. You every day is a new lesson. More heroes. Ooh. We are the future. I should play the Royal Scions first before the temple, but I didn't. Let us plan for the trials ahead. Yeah, I've seen a few people play Knight Tribal decks. Um, I've I've only played one one time with an Orzov build. Um, I want to try Boros because there's just not very much Boros going on in in standard right now. So I kind of want to try a Boros Knight deck. Well, that's unfortunate. That was that was my play. I was gonna play the Chandra. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna minus three Chandra. Nice, good job, no man. Mm, a quest of mystery. Well, I only have one Chandra. I have a Tamiyo that can get it back. Wait, no, I think... No, maybe I have two Chandras. Do I have two Chandras? Come to me. No, just the one Chandra. Of course, they can't target my Planeswalkers or anything unless they pay two additional mana because of Kasmina. So even if they have, like, an Elder Spell, Elder Spell costs four mana... Um, and with them being stuck on two lands, it's difficult to cast that card. Kind of same thing with the creatures, so they're just very dead. Pretty dead. I have 18 in the air if I use Royal Scions this next turn. So yeah, they, them getting stuck on mana certainly hurt them. Because, you know, if they if they got to play turn two hero and then turn three, they got to play, like, hero plus that duress on turn three. And turn four, play another hero and then thought erasure kind of thing. Not just hero on two, hero on three, hero on four, thought erasure on five, duress on six. So it looks like they're not too happy with how their land situation ended up. It's understandable. There. So we're going to be 3-0 over here. Yep, they got one. One extra time, one time out. Hey, Fox. Just spray painted the fox. Let us plan for the trials ahead. 
So it's not lethal anyway. Of doing the plus ability with Royal Scions where we do an extra two damage. You know, it could have gone like the creature gets plus two, plus zero for a strike trample, but. I mean, I guess I could have just done that on one of these two twos and attacked with the two two. And then would have had to throw a couple of bodies in front of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, we just have. we. You know, we've just curved out with Planeswalkers, you know, playing Royal Scions and Kismina and, and Sarkin, and my opponents just sit, sat here on two lands. Yep, so now we wait again. I guess my opponent was successful. Um with doing the the roping thing there because we just went from we just lost like 120 viewers in chat during that i checked that went from 900 to 780 oh now it says 900 again all right maybe that was just a maybe that was just a glitch in the system there never mind cool y'all are awesome <laughs> all right so we're three now Again, our opponents haven't put up the most resistance here yet. Do you think an arc bow and fires of invention deck can be a thing? So the two cards work really well together. What I am, what I am uh, skeptical about it is really what to do with those two cards. So because arc bow, you need lots of creatures, of course. Uh, fires of invention, you want a lot of like expensive spells of course you can you see so, you know you can just think all right well we'll put expensive creatures now but the the thing about fires is you want a lot of card advantage because you want to be able to be playing um both of your let me just start with royal scions you want to be playing your two spells a turn so you want a lot of card advantage so like how do we have enough cards to play two cards a turn plus there's a Narset? Or Casmina. How we have enough cards to play play two cards a turn with fires plus have another card to ditch to Arcbow. That's that's why I'm not sure how exactly that works. Uh, thanks so much there, Shiva. Let's Oko. Probably Oko. Hmm. What is my strategy here? I can just turn the grazer into a three three. Or make what a food. About me is absolute nonsense. Kinda wanna just make a food, honestly. It's not poisoned. Trust me. So is this like Sultai Field of the Dead? Yep, that's what it looks like. Or I was wondering if they were like Sultai Midrange with with Oko. Hey, Kitty Dexterity, thanks for gifting out a sub there. To Jesui Shiva. I appreciate that. That's our 10th sub of the day. That's a sub goal. Got to mark that down. That's sub goal number nine now out of 20 towards our next 12 hour stream. All right, I don't even know what this card does. Choose a color, black. Creatures you control the chosen color get plus one, plus zero. Okay, so it makes these things into three twos. But we can shut that down whenever we want with Oko. Mm. 
I take a backup, but... Oh, dear. Taking a backup, Sarkin. All right, I'm going to mark that down on the info panel, this sub-goal we just hit. So, yeah, that's what I do with the sub-goals. Every time we hit 20 total throughout, you know, different streams, I do a 12-hour stream to celebrate. And so that's number nine. We're halfway there. And we're living on a prayer. I don't feel like I need to ultimate Royal Scions I yet. enjoy the proper application of knowledge. Meditate and prepare. Sure? Question mark? I think there's going to be more brawl events in like October, I believe. Learn some respect. Um. Gaze into my face and put on your true. You could have growth spiral into a land to make a three-two there. Should leave one thing back. <clears throat> Quad Grazer. All right, and of course they know about the Sarkin in my hand. I'm just gonna play Sarkin and attack, and they'll have to chump with these. I mean, they do get to chump with those things, but. We'd have Rural Scions ultimate also. Alright, so Flame Sweep. More important than. Well then. I was going to say Flame Sweep was going to be more important than Lava Coil. I was going to switch those out. And probably play Disdainful Strokes. And, you know, not play Paradise Druid again. Okay. Final boss. I know we're hitting so much Steely Dan today. <laughs> Is your food biting back? <laughs> Here's an anti, anti uh, an antacid. <laughs> final boss. All right, we'll get our final boss playlist going. Always play during our final boss battles. Hmm. Need a Karn Great Creator deck. There's some things we can do with Karn the Great Creator. But yeah, the, the old version of mono black it was tough that one really relied on like you know treasure map of course but then also karn scion of urza maybe i want a goose play oko on three goose and oko on four nah <laughs> oko looks so not impressed with chandra <laughs> Welcome to the feast. You've been brewing around Drown in the Lock today. You came up with this Demir Mill. It could work. Anyone could work. That? No. Too bad. I've seen a lot of people trying out Demir Mill decks recently. I actually have just a couple others here that other people were putting together so you can kind of compare them and everything. Here's another one. I had like two just kind of saved from other people in chat. There's one right there. And then this person. 
wrote a huge thread about it. Okay, so we got Chandra over here and Island. They attacked me for two. So I'm paying two life to have Grazer in play. The mind is a tempest that can be controlled. Quell your temper. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. What the heck? So yeah, so maybe so yeah, so check check those out also. Um, uh, scouter there and see, you know, you can kind of get some other ideas with that. Hey, these little guys are great. My Sky Dancer. You carry a strong will. The problem with Oko having so much loyalty for me is that Oko just is never going to die. So if Oko never dies, what am I supposed to do with the other Okos in my hand? I don't have enough swears right now. <laughs> yeah, no, that's all we're doing is three mana walkers with plus twos. Plus two, plus two. Yeah, we can draw Kasmina, Royal Scions. We can draw those those kind of things. Please don't do not attack Mu Yanling. Just attack me. Come on, no, don't don't attack Mu Yanling. Don't do it. No, attack me. Uh, it's not how your card works. Don't try my patience. Is my domain. Let's broaden your existence. I could sit back with both to protect better against another questing beast, but then I'm just, you know, I'm double blocking. I can still just um, single block a questing beast and then uh, turn it into a 3 3 and so on. Make some more room to fight in. That's true too. That that's true too. I could have stolen the beast if I with, by just going Mu Yanling plus two on it and then switch. That's true. Maybe I should have just done that. It's not poison. Trust me. Do not challenge a raging river. Not too hot for you. Prison Reef. That is a pretty cool combo, though, of Mu Yanling shrinking creatures so Oko can steal them. It's a pretty cool combo. So Chandra has five loyalty now. Definitely wanted this land to be able to 
play this other Chandra and kill this one. Huh. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Sure, you our deal is worth your while. Respect nature, and it will offer assistance. So, Mu Yanli makes you know an elemental bird. So, we take the Risen Reef, make an elemental bird, hit that land drop. Getting a little warm in here. I'd say a little warm in here. So this thing can pump just once. So it's basically five power. It's attacking there. I'm going to just chomp with the Risen Reef instead of taking five. Yeah, that is pretty cool elemental bird art. All right, so I need to kill Chandra. What a warm reception. I've got a burning desire to finish you. Well, your temper. Oh dear. I don't really mind them killing Chandra, you know, like with the with the trailblazer. It'll be fine. But I, I just want that Chandra out of here. Okay, well, that thing's kind of a problem. I guess it's not. I have Oko. Never mind. Creatures are just not a problem when you have Oko. Hey, good job, Matthew. Awesome. So that, yeah, that thing's not an elemental anymore, but this would still get plus two if they want to activate that. Sure. I'm tapped out. What? You're not even killing Chandra. <laughs> what deck are we playing? We're playing Teamer Walkers. We're playing a, a Teamer deck based on a whole lot of Planeswalkers. No, opponent, don't make that attack. Just just attack Chandra for three. Or activate your Trailblazer first. It, it doesn't get plus three. You're playing with fire I wish I could help my opponent out a little bit. I have 
Opponent's definitely a newer player. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Alright, but we'll be able to gain life with Interplanar Beacon and with egg or foods. Today I craft my victory. Whole foods. I bet I see a goose planeswalker Let's next set. Broaden your existence. Kick to the sky, my friend. Um I'll sit back. Why not exchange? Because why not exchange the food for Living Twister? Because I don't like this thing being a three three isn't isn't very threatening, but I I actually just want to just be sacking foods with this Chandra emblem. I actually just you know I, I don't care about them having a three three. The land fights for us. But I wanted sack foods to gain life. No, I don't have BioS and Hydra. I had another I have like another version similar to this deck that I called Team or Midrange that I played um, you know, like a week ago or so. And that version uh, had BioS and Hydra, and then it had like Kiora and and other four toughness creatures with Kiora, like Gruel Spellbreaker and Questing Beast, and of course Oko, Royal Scions, stuff like that. So yeah, if you're interested in that one, on the YouTube channel, you know look look for Teamer Midrange from a week to ten days ago, or so. I'm just gonna have to play these other Okos. Is it just hey, me, Gabrielle, getting the gifted sub six one nine. Thank you so much there. I'll update that here in just a second. Bow to the howling winds. Do I need to kill Nissa this turn? Maybe I don't. Turn that thing into a three three. You're going to sit back and block. Enchanting. Walk with me. Sing with me. I will enlighten you. Surely you see the humor here. This is the same. We'll just kill this thing. All right, Nissa down. Mm. 
Yeah, it's been a longer game one. Not like super long though. We only need 30 more YouTube subs to get to 10,000. Nice. We're almost there. Yeah, that's where I put all the replays up for all the videos, including Arclight Dredge is already up there. I put them up right away. <clears throat> Whoops, sorry. So this... Yeah, this Living Twister is kind of killing me, so that puts me down to 7. This attack puts me down to 4. I have lethal, though. If they if they attack out, I guess I have lethal, so... I guess, well, oh wait, that, that thing's a 1-3. I can just block the... I can just trade here and only take 1 also. But yeah, if they, if they attack out, I can just kill them. So we'll do that. Hey, Blade. I can't kill them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess it's just a lot easier just doing Chandra. I was thinking of, like, different moves with, like, you know, like, trading with you know, uh, getting rid of their blocker, but I don't want to give them, like, a food or a blocker. I want a minus five. Actually, let's not kill the Chandra. We're gonna turn this thing to a three-three. There we go. Invite you to change your ways. Minus three. <laughs> Kill that thing. Bye bye. Attack for eleven. They're down to two. Go to their upkeep. Do those things. Oh, that's not that's not match. That was game one. Ah. Uh. Okay. So they're playing elementals. We'll get this other lava coil in there. <laughs> now the Chandra minus three would have killed my elk also, so we couldn't we couldn't do Chandra minus three because it would have killed my elk. But Oko is really good of you know turning those elementals into elk so that Chandra's minus three can kill all of them. That's usually pretty good. This is going to bring in an extra coil for a Paradise Druid. Let's go. <laughs> the quest of the beast is to seek your face. Was my opponent playing Questing Beast that game? Was that that game or is that a different game? Where they attacked my Planeswalker and not me? I feel like that was that game. That was a long time ago, though. Go to the next song. Nah, we'll keep this here. It was this game when they attacked Mu Yanling? Okay.
So shocking in for stomping ground. Does that mean that they have shock or veil of summer, or both? Probably shock. Maybe veil of summer. Could be both. All right, gonna start getting this. Let us plan for the trials ahead. Start getting this Royal Scions. Loyalty up more. Oh, they're a teamer deck. Yeah, I guess they had blue last game. Yeah, because they played Risen Reef. Right. Yeah. So yeah, they were they were teamer last game. Let me synthesize the fact. Please don't play Nissa. Don't play Nissa or Chandra. You know, Chandra next turn. Anyone oh, yeah, they have that Chandra, started? too. No? Too bad. Go get him, buddies. The Royal Skyons. Ow, Stay ow. Away from my brother. I will learn what nobody yet knows. Trojan Rage. Thanks for the tier one sub. Oh, that's number 12. I did not update that from before. I said I was going to, but I was a little busy. That's number 12 on the day. Say hi to my fiery friends. Well, that's kind of problematic. That's a lot more damage than my opponent's attacking with now. They can hit the Royal Skyons down to one. Oh, get away from me. Yeah, yeah, it could be named the Royal Scottish. You're quite charmed to meet me. Your new look is enchanting. Hey, high tech. Now this is from um, this is the breaking of the fellowship from Lord of the Rings. No, don't play Chandra. Uh. Stay back. I'm an explosive. That's not good. All right, looks like they got me this game. Check out these fireworks. Should I have like my own negates? Go get them, buddies. I need to do differently sideboarding wise. Play flame sweep instead of paradise druid. Mm, you're too close-minded. Don't know what 
is nice Fight for me. Day. Gotta take out Big Chandra. But we're pretty vulnerable here. Another haste creature is bad. <laughs> the land shall conquer you. This little Chandra with the Trailblazer. This Trailblazer has done so much damage with the with this pump ability. It's done an, an incredible amount of damage to me. All right, well that attack Come on. Listen, to them. Listen to them roar. That attack kind of gives us gives us a chance. They didn't kill Sarkin. I fear no pain. Oh, they just have shock. For their last card. I'm going to take this up immediately before they have a shock instead of doing anything else first. Alright, little Chandra out here. Wind whispers secrets. All you have to do is listen. Quell your temper. If you shock Sarkin right now, um, I think it still takes loyalty counters off, I think. Or is it is it just life? Is it not loyalty counters anymore? Is it is it just like the toughness part? Okay, so it's just it's just the toughness part, no loyalty counters. Okay, only only life. So making a creature, then shocking it, not good. Unless you know, if it's a if it's a Sarkin with like eight loyalty, then you turn it into a four four, then you can double shock it. Hmm. So I'm blocking the Trailblazer. Because that thing can activate. Come on. Four. Eight. Yeah, that, that can be that thing can be ten power. We need to draw something good. Okay, that counts. That counts. That'll play. And of course, we gotta kill Nessa. They are coming. Yeah, Rev Daddy. Right a disappointment. Maybe they shock Mu Yanling here. Respect, nature, and it will offer assistance. Um, it's okay. There we go. So 
We got some good blockers now. Listen up, and I'll teach you a trick or two. My students are loyal and brilliant. Yeah, yep, my opponent need to kill they need to be killing my walkers the last two turns. If they would have just killed the Sarkin two turns ago, which they could have two turns ago, uh, we would have been really dead. Yeah, that deck looks pretty good. I wouldn't really call that control. It's, I mean, I guess you got all the time wipes. A little bit more mid-range, but... I mean, that's just nitpicking, but it, it looks good. I'm I'm not sure with the Fayborough Elder, if you need that card, with having a lot of other, like, threes and stuff already. Like, if you're really needing that one. But the deck looks good. <clears throat> okay. Are you ready? Sarkin! Game over. There's the 5 0. There's the 5 0. Thanks, Drug Wizard. Thanks for the 5 0 cheer. It's not even Friday. It's not even 5 0 Friday. All right, good job, Sarkin. Let me update that. All right, let's get our prize. What do we win? A lot of gold and some gems. Golden gems. They're the best kind of gems, golden gems. All right, so our deck worked out very well. You know, first time uh, playing the deck and, and trying it out, but it, it worked really well. Our... We didn't we didn't have the face we didn't face the strongest competition, admittedly, um honestly here with this league. Uh so you know we'll try this deck out and ranked again later on in the week and you know see how it does there. But you know, it's first first go at the deck. I think the Paradise Druids were the the card that I kind of felt was a little unnecessary. I, I wanted yeah, you know, I wanted it to be to be able to help fix the mana and also be a blocker for all the planeswalkers. But it felt a little unnecessary. Like maybe it would just be better as more removal. So like maybe like the flame sweep, or like like a lava a lava coil and like two flame sweeps maybe in the main instead of these druids. I don't know. How does that look if we just go, if we just pump up the red spells? Mu Yanling looked really good. Royal Scions was definitely looked really good too. Sahili was pretty meh, but Sahili just you know makes a one one each turn and you turn the one ones into three threes with Oko. It, that actually works out pretty well. Um, so maybe maybe this is better for main deck. Maybe maybe another land though. Maybe like keep three coil and just add in an extra land. Like a, I don't know what the extra land would be, a mountain or a, or like another one of these temples. Yeah, we didn't have tons of lands to go with a Boreal Grazer. Once Upon a Time is not really grabbing creatures, though. Um, I'd rather play like like a Growth Spiral. Like, I could see just playing like one Growth Spiral, which is kind of weird. Um, a Mobilized District. That could be good. A mobilized district could be pretty good. Or just the 26 land. I like that. Because if we have multiple planeswalkers in play, it's really cheap to activate. It can be a 3 3 that can help, you know, with all these things. Um, I could see that. I could see that. I'm not sure if that's better or not. Let's go back to the, the stream playlist. I'm not sure if that's better than Paradise Druids. That's another option, though. 
and then you have then you know you get two more sideboard slots to play along with with whatever you want to play uh, in sideboard slots there so like a deck like this as you can see like we don't have like the best removal so i was initially kind of scared of like larger creatures since our removal is not very good but honestly we we really didn't struggle that much with the larger creatures because of oko you know like if they have a bigger creature you just turn it into a three three and then it's much more manageable oko kind of makes you know that's why we're playing for this card it kind of makes all of like the larger creatures uh very manageable Kasmina worked out really well. Uh, we only played the Tamiya one time. I liked the Spark Double quite a bit, though. I could definitely see playing two Spark Double and no Tamiya. Or instead of, like, this 26 land, playing just playing another Spark Double. Spark Double looked really good of having, you know, getting multiple Okos in play, multiple Royal Scions, uh, multiple Mu Yanlings. Uh, that was really cool. Like, just they just couldn't attack because, you know, get multiple of those plus two abilities. You know, like, like those plain, you know, Mu Yanling, okay, those things work out really well when you have multiple of them. I think I would rather have another Spark Double than the Tamiyo. Yeah. I'm not sure. Again, I'm not sure if this is better than Paradise Druids or not. I'm not sure, though. But okay, um, so there we go. So that is Teamer Walkers there. Um, you know, 5-0, really good showing, but our, our competition wasn't the hardest in that league uh, that we played there. Uh, but we'll try it again uh, in ranked later on in the week. All right, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Almost to 10,000 subscribers over there. So thanks everybody for watching over on YouTube. Uh, also, please leave comments. I always love seeing the comments in the channel. Let me know what you think of the deck. If if I'm missing anything, um, if there's you know better removal or things to do here, um, you know if you like Paradise Druid more or if you like Lava Coil Flame Sweep, there's something else I should have in the sideboard. All that kind of stuff. You know, try the deck out yourself. You know, leave some leave some comments. Let me know how it's going. If you try it out yourself, and so I have some more information about it there. But uh, thank you so much for watching some Teamer Walkers, and I'll see you for the next video.